Scotty, when did you first learn that Michael was sick? Well, we all knew kind of uh, at our morning uh, sort of get together. It wasn't really a shoot around, but mm -hmm. we would meet and just have breakfast together. So we all knew, and it was kind of thrown up in the air whether or not Michael would be playing. But uh, so you, you guys know. thought he might not play? Yeah. Well, some of the guys did. Right. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was it was one of those situations. Where really, it was um, it was a 50-50 mm -hmm. chance that he may or may not play. But knowing Michael like I did and the years that I spent with him, I kind of knew he was going to make a, a, an effort. And, you know, come game time, you know, he showed up. He was on the bus and pretty much did uh, his same routine. You know, you could see that he was real sluggish and right. laying around. So uh, I just felt like I'm going to have to give him a little, little bit of a lift to yeah. get through this one tonight. We saw in the highlight, and, and Stu Scott says that, you know, you were very aggressive early, that you knew that you had to sort of set the tone because he would not be able to in the same Yeah, way. I, I, I did. And, you know, I could just see it in his eye. He was, he was weak. And, you know, I just wanted to be more offensive-minded and stay aggressive. Uh, I got on the post and was really you know, trying to, to do the things that I could to keep us going early and knowing that Michael, you know, he had always been our closer. So mm -hmm. I knew down the stretch I was going to need some of that, <laughs> some of that Jordan to, to, to come out and some of his heroics. And, you know, it was just one of those games where he finally was able to find himself and, you know, get that second win. And once he got going, it was, it was one of those games that uh, you just wanted to be a part of. You just will never forget how he was able to find such energy and such desire to win that game for us. What, what was he saying to you guys throughout this, you know, early in the game, leading up to the game? You know what? Michael wasn't saying much. He just had this just look like he was he was living in his own world. And then, you know, he, he, he wasn't even being aggressive offensively as the Michael that I have known or right. come to mm -hmm. know. But uh, throughout that, that game, you could just see he started to feel it a little, little bit. And as always, once he started to feel it, we just flooded him with, with the basketball. But, you know, he was, um, he was, he was very quiet, um, didn't say much when he went to the bench. He was just counting his own world. And for guys that who never played with Michael, I've <laughs> played with him, so right. I've seen these moments where he kind of shunned everybody out. Right. And that was one of those moments where he was just, he was just trying to gather himself and just, uh, you know, stay in the game. Um, we thought at any moment he may go to the locker room or puke up on the floor. But, right. Uh, <laughs> He, he it's does happening. now, the and NBA you, you know, you can see in these <laughs> photos that I didn't care if he puked up on. Right, you know, <laughs> we're like, let's like, go. Well, done. here's so well, this is this, these pictures. I asked the guys to pull the still pictures because there's sometimes where video is better, obviously, but sometimes yeah. I love it when the still picture just captures the moment. You basically carrying him off the floor. What was? Tell me, tell me well, what it, it was. It was easy, like. you know. He he carried me for like 11 seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. But uh, <laughs> no, it, it was great. You know, me and Michael, we we had a, a special bond, and you know, we had been together for so long, and you know, it was just one of those games where it was one of the most important games of, of, of our careers. And what? We, we, and he's clinging to you in this moment. It's, to, I've never seen it, him. It, I have never seen him like this before. You know what? I, I I felt that at some moment he didn't he didn't really know where he was at. He didn't really? know what he was doing or, or what was going just, on because I I think he was probably medicated a, yeah. a little bit and mm -hmm. trying to, you know, fight the bug and trying to deal with, you know, trying to catch his breath and trying to stay focused. What, 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 happened, when you, what happened when you guys got in the locker room right after you walk off the floor? He wasn't sick anymore. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> What do you no, mean? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just Because <laughs> like, ah! you're going to say that, and just I can just kidding. see the internet going no, crazy. He was, he was, he was ex exhausted. You know, the, the series wasn't over yet. Yeah. And really, it was time for us to uh, start trying to put that 48-hour treatment in him because we were going to be right back on, back the, on, the, on the court. So we had to make sure we could get a lot of fluids in him and you know, get him ready for game six. Food poisoning or the flu? To this day, what do you think? Uh, I, I think it was probably the, the flu. I'm, gee, that guy was there. I'm you know, I... he, 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 Michael get up, well, back in the day, he got up every morning, mm -hmm. played 18 to 36 holes yeah. golf. So mm -hmm. he probably caught the flu out there in Salt Lake, getting up, <laughs> playing golf early. You but heard Stuart Scott. It all worked out. Say at the beginning of that highlight, they didn't have room service, so he had to get food delivery the night before. <laughs>